Okay, in this video we are going to use Green's Theorem to evaluate a line integral. Um, and remember you can do that when the path that you're dealing with um, is a simple closed curve. So simple means it doesn't intersect itself and then closed means it kind of, you know, closes off a region in the plane. Um, and so in this case, that curve is gonna be the unit square in quadrant one bounded by the lines x equals one and y equals one. So it's always important to identify the region. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it. So uh, here, and it's a unit square. So this point is one zero, and this is zero one. So we could um, actually say what each of the boundaries is. So x is zero, x is one, and then also y is zero and y is one. So we could evaluate this line integral um, directly by parameterizing the curve and doing it in that way. Um, if we did that though, we'd have uh, four different curves that we'd have to deal with. Um, and so in this case, Green's Theorem, well, first of all, the problem says to use Green's Theorem, but Green's Theorem is a better choice um, because it meets all the criteria and it's just less work. So before we can do that, um, let's see. So here, is what we're dealing with, we need to find the integrand that we're gonna use. So this turns a line integral into a double integral. The um, kind of domain we're gonna integrate over is the region that we already drew. We need to find the integrand. So the integrand is, um, we always use, I always use a uh, two by two determinant to figure it out. So uh, it's partial X and partial Y. And then uh, usually they're called like P and Q. And so our line integral is P dx plus Q dy. Um, sometimes you see M and N also. Uh, so it's the first thing goes here and the second thing goes there. And so it's a two by two determinant. And now we're just gonna figure out that. So it's gonna be the derivative with respect to X of this guy, which is just Y minus the derivative with respect to Y of this which is negative two y. And so our integrand for our double integral is gonna be three y. So we need the boundaries as well, but it's a unit square. So it's just x goes from zero to one and y goes from zero to one. And so they're not dependent on each other. So it doesn't matter what we do here. So I'm gonna let x go first from zero to one. Then I'm gonna have y go from zero to one. Our integrand is three y. And then we're gonna go dy and dx. Okay, so now we just need to evaluate the double integral. So uh, 3y is easy enough to integrate. It'll give us 3 halves y squared from uh, y equals 0 to y equals 1. And then we're going to take the result of that and integrate with respect to x. So plugging in uh, 1 and 0 actually just gives me 3 halves. So when I integrate 3 halves with respect to x, I get three as x from zero to one. Plugging in one gives us something, plugging in zero gives us nothing, so we just get three halves. So don't lose sight of the fact we did this double integral, but the value of the double integral is exactly the value of the line integral. All right, so that's a pretty straightforward example of Green's theorem. Um, I hope this was helpful and good luck.